Hello everyone. As you know, with the advance and advance of technology, it can be applied in various aspects of life. Using technology in language teaching is not an exception as it is beneficial to both sides, the teacher and students. Not only can it make lessons more exciting and engaging for students, but it can also assist the teacher in delivering lessons more effectively by providing several different activities. The teacher can use tools to enhance students' participation and interaction, monitor student progress, draw students' attention, etc. Because of those advantages, now we will give instructions on how to integrate two ICT tools into teaching a language skill. The lesson we teach today is the reading skill of Unit 4 for a better community in the English 10 textbook. And we will use the two ICT tools, Nearpart and Flip, in teaching the lesson. Nearpart is applied in Task 1 and 4, whereas Flip is applied in Task 5. We'll use Nearpart in two types of activity, poll for Task 1 and quiz for Task 4. We choose Nearpart because it can integrate different teaching tools into one lesson without switching back and forth between applications just one platform for many activities. It also creates an interactive environment and supports students' learning. With Nearpod, students can directly interact with the slide or the activities that the teacher organized in lib participation mode, or they can self-study and review the lesson at home in student pace mode. We intend to use two activities of Nearpod Poll for warm up and quiz for reviewing vocabulary because of its useful implication. With poll, we can create surveys in class easily. Instead of raising hands and the teacher observes and counts, now with poll, students just need to tick on what they choose. It also helps the teacher monitor the students. Through so the report, the teacher can see how many students chose each option so that we have an overview about the survey without counting or doing any calculation. In quiz, we can check students' memory. After teaching vocabulary, we can use quiz to check that students understand new words and remember them well or not. After the quiz, we have a report and it will show you about your students' work. The teacher can note down some common mistakes and focus on them in the next activity or at the end of the lesson. Now, I will show you how to apply poll for warm-up activity. And the task here is the teacher gives six reasons for doing volunteer work and students will guess which ones will appear in the text. After unlocking the lesson, we will create a poll. First, Click on Add Content and Activities. Choose Poll. Click Add, then type the question and some options. For example, with this activity, we will add 6 options. Click Add Timer if you want to set time for your student. Add Image, Audio if necessary, and don't forget to turn on Allow Student to select multiple options so that student can choose more than one option. Click save if you finish and drag the poem to the expected position. To start a poll, you find the appropriate lesson and choose the participation. Later, you provide a code to student to join the lesson and move to the poll slide. Student will take on the options that they choose and submit their answer. During that time, the teacher can monitor the class in the report to see how many students have joined the poll and what they chose. For task 4, after teaching vocabulary, we use a multiple choice quiz to check. Now I will show you how to create a multiple choice quiz. After creating poll for task 1, you continue to click on Add Content and Activities. Choose Quizzes and Games. Quiz and click on Add. Then type the question and the answer. Click Add Answer.
answer to include more. Choose the correct answer. You can click here to add an image, a video or other media. To create another question, you click Add Question and repeat the process. Choose Add Timer to set time limit for the quiz. Then click Save. Trust the quiz to the static position. Now the multiple choice quiz is done. Let's play. On the screen now, you can see both student and teacher versions. To start the quiz, you move to the quiz slide. To teacher, and click on start activity. As soon as students choose the answer, and click on submit when completing the quiz. During the time students do the quiz, you can observe which students join the quiz, how many scores they get, and which question they have a right or wrong answer to. Moreover, you can see the percentage of correct, incorrect, and no answers. That's all about the first ICT tool. Let's see the second one. Now we move to another ICT tool that can be used for this lesson. It is Flip. In classroom, there might not be enough time for all students to present their ideas. So, Flip is a useful space where they can learn and share together through recording their videos to respond to a question or a problem. Let's see how Flip is utilized for the following homework. What is the best way to volunteer? Record a 3-minute video to present your idea. There are two options for this part. The first one is creating a group where the topic is stored, and the second one is just creating a topic. However, if a teacher wants to easily monitor the student's participation, the best choice is creating a group and then add the topics in it. To create a group, as a teacher, after logging your account, you go to your flip dashboard and find groups tab at the top of the screen. Then click plus group button, create a group. It will ask you to select group type and level, and in this case, choose classroom and high school, and then click next. After that, give it a name. To choose how you want to invite students as members, you can share students with a link by choosing one of these two options, anyone with a link or only people you approve. You can also share by email, just type the student's emails or school domain. Or you can even sign in your Google Classroom account to import your class roster. When you are ready, Click Create Group. The teacher can simply invite anyone instantly just by sending them a link or using these options to share with your community. Remember to usually check for notifications to approve students' join requests. Let's click Plus Topic button to create a topic for the homework that I have mentioned. Add a title. Then write the question and description for the topic. Be sure that you set the appropriate recording time for your students. For this homework, I think 3 minutes is fine. When everything is set, click Post Topic 
and the activity is ready to be shared with all students. As a teacher, you can review them from the view of your own account or you can also look at it from the member view as a student. Let's see how students view and join the topic created by the teacher. Students will click Add Response to get started. The screen will be like this. Students can use web camera to add their own unique responses or they can upload videos from a device. Once they feel the video is good, click Next. Teacher can ask them to write anything in the video description for example, their name, class, and group. Students can also edit a cover for their video if they want. Finally, click Post Topic, and their videos will be posted. Students will see many videos of their classmates, as well as comments of their own. Flip is really a useful ICT tool for homework activity. This is all for the end of our video. We hope that with what we share, you can know more about Nearpod and Flip and be able to apply ICT tools in a lesson to make it more effective and interesting. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.